Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, and the kids have the exact same thing minus the yogurt and flavor of their juice. So they each have a ham and cheese sandwich, and I didn't feel like using a sandwich cutter today, um, so I thought I would jazz it up by just making it a smiley face. So these are the food writer markers um, that's like edible and you can draw on tortillas or sandwiches or whatever. And then these are just little candy eyes that I stuck on with a tiny little dab of honey. So hopefully they won't fall off. They have some fruit snacks over here, grapes, carrots and ranch. And then they each have a yogurt. Uh, Lacey does not like this kind. She tried it at home one day and just didn't like it. So just Connor is getting that kind. And then she has a regular um, gogurt tube, berry blast. And then they each have a Kool-Aid jammer. Lacey doesn't like cherry. And then they have some Pirate's Booty in these containers. And we've never tried it before, so hopefully the kids will like it. Um, so that is it for Monday, and we'll see you guys after school. All right, guys, so we only have one lunch to look at. Excuse my cat there. Um, Lacey forgot her lunchbox at school, but she said she ate everything, right? No. What did you not eat? She doesn't remember. <laughs> um, Connor ate his yogurt. That's just the top part to that yogurt drink. Um, carrots, grapes, and you had, uh, what was that? Pirate's booty and your sandwich. Did you not, were you full or you just didn't want to eat the sandwich? Connor. What? Were you too full for the sandwich or? No, I just couldn't finish it. Were you too full or you ran out of time? I ran out of time. Okay. All right. Well, he did good otherwise. He'll probably eat that for his snack right now. And then I guess I could probably show you guys what Lacey ate from her lunch tomorrow when I get it back. So, yeah. So we will see you guys tomorrow then. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. And I am trying to use up this salad we bought a few nights ago for dinner. So that's what they're having. So there's um, hearts of romaine or like a romaine mix in there. Some little bacon bits and ranch. Back here in these little containers is some ranch. I got these at the dollar store. They're great for ketchup or ranch or, you know, whatever. They each have a little package of fruit snacks. They had these yesterday too. They were just out of the package. Um... Then they each have some almonds and some grapes over there. And then they have a gogurt tube and a juice. And then I'm going to put the napkin over top of the salad. Um, they eat in like four hours anyway, but just to help make sure it doesn't get soggy or anything. And then they have their little fork. So we will see you guys after school. All right, so the kids just got home from school. This is Lacey's from yesterday, uh, Monday. So let's check that really quick. So you didn't eat any of your carrots yesterday, huh? Why not? Oh, okay. Well, everything else was gone. All right. Now this is from today. So let's check hers first. Ooh. Why didn't you eat your salad? Because I didn't have time. And my and my tummy. Did you eat your yogurt and your juice? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Connor did better. It's like all over the lunchbox. Oh, and your grapes, right? You ate your grapes, Lacey? Yeah. Okay. There's like two almonds, one or two almonds down here. But he ate his grapes. And oh, yeah, you ate your fruit snacks, Lacey? Mm -hmm. Everything else is gone. Okay. Not bad. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, and it is special because the kids have a field trip to the zoo today, and Matt and I actually get to chaperone, yeah. so there is a whole lot of lunch and stuff going on. So yeah. let, let me start over here. Uh, this is for Matt and I, so, well, actually, this is to share. Um, there are almonds, pistachios, honey roasted peanuts, and graham crackers, so that's for, like, all of us to share at lunchtime. This is Matt's. He has two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with grape jelly. I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with strawberry jelly. We have an apple for him and I, some fruit snacks. Um, those will be going in our lunchbox too. And we're also bringing a water bottle for everybody. And then the kiddos have an applesauce pouch, a milk. We had ordered McDonald's last night for dinner and we didn't um, end up using these. So I thought I would throw them in today. 
Um, I also put in a juice because last year when we went to the zoo, they did not have enough to drink at lunchtime. They were telling me they were thirsty. They were drinking like all of their water. So I threw that in there. They have a gogurt as well. Of course, they have animal crackers back here. You can't go to the zoo without animal crackers. Here is cheese. It's mostly Colby Jack. There's one piece of provolone because I ran out. But all of those are really fun shapes. Let me show you. These are also Connors and Lacey sandwiches. So an elephant, dinosaurs. Um, I have a bear shaped. Some of the cheese is bear shaped. Some of it is bunny head shaped. And then I have the words zoo also. So all of this is cheese and their sandwiches right here. Um, I added some little eyes and some polka dots to the dinosaur. Then they have some fruit snacks down in that compartment. And of course I have a whole bunch of animal picks everywhere to help decorate it and make it a little bit more cute. So that is our really big lunch for Wednesday. And we will see you guys after the field trip. Bye. As I was putting everything away to pack up and stuff, I realized I didn't tell you guys what the kids had. Connor has a honey and peanut butter sandwich. And then Lacey has a strawberry and peanut butter sandwich, just like I do. So we just got back from the zoo from school and the kids ate everything and then some. So... Connor had both of his drinks. He did eat um, the applesauce. Everything in here is gone. Lacey threw away her juice and her um, applesauce pouch, but this is empty too. Uh, Matt ate both. He had two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in here. He ate both of those. I ate my sandwich, one apple. Um, I brought some extra stuff on the side. All that is gone too. The only thing that we have left are some honey roasted peanuts, a lonely quarter of a graham cracker, uh, one whole apple I'm just going to stick back in the fridge, and there's a few pistachios and quite a bit of almonds. So I guess those were a little extra, um, but everything else is completely gone. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this special uh, zoo day, and we will see you guys back tomorrow. Good morning, for everybody. It is Thursday. And these are brand new containers that I ordered from Amazon a few days ago. So it's our first day trying them out. So we'll see how they go. And as always, I will link everything down below and I will include these this time. So the kids just have a DIY Lunchable with some whole wheat Ritz crackers, some ham rolled up on some little picks. Lacey has some Colby Jack cheese and then these ones are like half cheddar, half mozzarella. Connor has just the cheddar mozzarella um, over here. Then they each have a juice, a yogurt. This is the last of the Yakult. Um, so, um, and Lacey doesn't like these, so she has a regular Go-Gurt. They each have a fruit snack, the Sour Fruit Smiles. They have a peach cup as well. And then they have some broccoli and some cauliflower over here. And we had gotten like extra sauce a few nights ago uh, we, when we had ordered McDonald's. So I figured I would just use these for their ranch today. Make it easier on myself and less dishes to wash. Um, then of course they have a napkin and a spoon for the fruit. So we will see you guys after school. I just wanted to show you guys the lids really quick. I didn't even think about that. Connor's is yellow, Lacey's is purple. Uh, we also have a pink lid and I think it's like a green or a teal color. And these are fairly deep. I mean, that fits that whole like Ritz cracker. They're slightly on their sides and the lid closes. So they're pretty deep. Um, so it fits, you know, quite a bit of food in there. So I just wanted to show you guys. Hi, Dixie. The kiddos just got home from school and Lacey said she had her drink, yogurt and fruit snacks. Connors are all empty. He put them back in so I could check. So he ate all of that. Um, he told me, Mom, you know I don't like broccoli. <laughs> um, and he didn't even try the cauliflower. So um, that can just go back into the fridge. But he ate his Lunchable. And Lacey has one little cracker. She ate almost all of her broccoli and 
she said this tasted weird so <laughs> that's all right but she ate everything else so pretty good uh we will see you guys tomorrow good morning everybody it's friday we made it through another week today the kids have spaghettios like old school campbell spaghettios in their thermos and once again i will let you know you have to preheat these put boiling hot water in the thermos with the lid closed for about 10 to 15 minutes, dump out the hot water, and then put your hot food in right away and close the lid, and it will stay very hot uh, until your kids go to lunch. They each have some carrots with ranch and some grapes in these containers. They have a fruit and grain bar in the mixed berry flavor, just because I wasn't sure if what I was sending them would be enough. Then they each have some strawberry banana yogurt in those containers and a milk so we will see you guys after school so the kids just got home from school and it looks like they almost ate everything oh Lacey, did you drink your milk yeah okay it's not in here so they both drank their milk uh, these yogurts are empty they're light um, they both I think they both ate their spaghettios yep and surprise surprise Neither one of them finished their carrots or ate any of their carrots. That's Connor's. Connor said he ran out of time. Ooh, Lacey, your ranch is all over. What happened with your carrots? Why didn't you eat them? Oh. And there's Dixie. <laughs> all right, guys, we will see you in our next video. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you, and make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Bye.